Gang here, welcome back to my vlog channel. So it's already like 4 p.m. I was supposed to vlog today, but let's just face it, I was lazy. I woke up a little bit later than expected. No, I lie, a lot later than expected. And I was taking my time to do everything today. My friend came over to pick up some stuff and then I've been editing videos all day. I am going to go into the city and pick up my wedding dress today. I've mentioned this story a couple of times on my channel, but if you guys don't know what happened. So, okay, the wedding dress saga. I bought my wedding dress back in August and I paid a rush fee to get my dress early December. Early December, I was in Japan and I got back to Sydney like mid-December. I went into the store as soon as I landed back in Sydney and I was like, hey, do you guys have my wedding dress? And they were like, no. So I asked them, I was like, oh, is it on the way? Is it being shipped? And they were like, I don't know. We have to ask head office. So I was kind of like, oh, okay, sure. And they told me they'll get back to me in a few days. I waited for like, I think four or five days and I didn't hear back from them. Went back into the store and I was like, Where's my dress? And they were like, oh, we're still checking with head office. We don't know yet. And I was like, surely, do you guys have like a tracking number and stuff? Because I knew it was coming from overseas. And they were like, oh, we had to ask head office. So I kind of just wanted them to let me know where the dress was. Like if it was being shipped now or if it's on the way, you know, just, just have some sort of update. They told me they'll get back to me in like two days. So two days later, they got back to me and they were like, your dress has arrived. So I was really happy, but I was like, I kind of wish they told me, like, you know, the status update. But anyway, I picked up the dress and then I already had a tailor in mind for the alterations. Sometime, I think in around September or October, a lovely subscriber reached out to me and asked me if I wanted her to alter my dress. As soon as I got my wedding dress, I went to her store straight away and we started the alterations and seriously, she, she saved my wedding because usually alterations take a very long time. So she had to fast track everything to get my dress done. She actually even took time off to make sure she had enough time to fix my dress. So she's so amazing guys. I'll link her down below and if you guys ever need alterations for anything, go check out her store. This is not sponsored or anything as well. Like, I had two fittings with her and I was actually really amazed because she changed my dress, not a lot, but there was a lot of things that were wrong with the dress. Like, it just didn't fit me well. Because when I got the dress, I mean, they measured me and stuff and they kind of made it sound like that it was made to order, but it wasn't. Because they just gave me like a standard size zero dress when I'm actually a bit smaller than that. So yeah, so we had to do so much to my dress. She's been working every day for the past couple of days to get my dress done in time because I really want to fly back to Perth ASAP because my wedding is next oh my god it's next week wow that just hit me oh boy time is flying by fast but yeah I'm gonna go pick up the dress today so I'm not gonna show you guys what the whole dress looks like but I'm going to give you guys a sneak peek on what parts of the dress looks like so hopefully you guys look forward to that and then I'm just gonna go out and have dinner with my friends as well so I will vlog all of that oh yeah and today's makeup a lot of people always ask me what I wear and by the time I upload that video I've already forgotten so I'm gonna uh, try my best to give you guys as much detail as possible so I actually haven't done my brows yet because I'm going to be testing out some brow pencils from Dysor. For my eyes, I have this pink and brown shade thing going on right now and I'm using the Too Faced Pretty Rich palette. I love this one. For the outer corners, I've been using these brown colors and then the pink is actually Princess Cut, this one here. It's pink, but it's got some gold glitters in it. And for my foundation, a lot of people have been asking me recently what I'm wearing. This is a Pat McGrath Skin Fetish Foundation. Freaking love it. Like, it's my holy grail, guys. It's a light to medium coverage, but it's buildable. I just love how it looks on my skin. It just makes you look like you have flawless skin. Anyway, guys, I'm gonna go edit some videos for a couple of hours before I head into the city to pick up my dress. So let's do that. I just did a little bit of filming for my main channel and finished editing another video. So now let's go into the city and pick up my dress. Okay, here we are. This is my dress. I'm not going to show you guys the whole dress, but this is the lace detailing. It's so beautiful. So what Sue had to do was she had to hand pick out these lace patterns and hand sew them back in again so oh must have taken so long so this is sue she's doing my veil for me as well and she did the alterations thank you you guys are the best have a beautiful wedding 
Thank you, thank you guys. I'm just at my friend's house now, so we're just gonna get some dinner together and chill, spend some time. We might watch a movie as well. She's gonna get her laptop and I'm gonna actually book my flights to Perth now because I got my wedding dress, so yay, I'm excited. Sydney to Perth. Tomorrow. <laughs> So I got a nail appointment at 12.45 So you have to transfer, which I don't want to do But I feel like I have no choice This one, yeah, see? It's $1,309 mm -hmm. For if you depart 7pm yeah, right? I was like, what? Like this this one would have been perfect but What about Qantas? Yeah We're watching Crazy Rich Asians whilst we wait for food <laughs> Food here Oh, I'm so excited Oh, it looks so good Oh, arancini balls. Yes. Oh, garlic bread too. Oh. That wants a seafood marinara, is it? Yeah. Yeah. It's like so late right now, so we're <laughs> all like starving. It looks so good. Yeah. Oh, is it truffle in it? In it? I think so. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Like truffle and egg and yeah, you can you can try some. Please. Okay. Nice. Mm. So this is like truffle and mushroom, I think. Yeah. Oh. I've only seen this movie once, I think, actually. Oh, really? Yeah, I only saw it once in the cinemas, and that's it. This one? This one smells so good. Oh. I got this from my mom. Yeah. <laughs> that's okay. <laughs> I feel so full from dinner. Like, my stomach feels so big right now. Me too. Yeah, I need to, like, stop eating carbs, but it was so good. It was really good. It was so yummy. It's like a romantic date we're having. <laughs> Go home now, my friend's sending me back. Oh, I'm so sleepy. Oh my gosh, it's all, almost midnight. <laughs> My dress is all wrapped up and ready to go for the wedding and my veil is right here as well. So, and without giving too much away, this is the body part of my dress. There's all these beautiful lace patterns on her. I'm in love with it. Actually, this was the first dress I ever put on and I ended up choosing this dress because I thought it was perfect. So yeah, gonna pack this up and then put this in the suitcase to bring over to Perth tomorrow. I'm back home now. I just spent a couple of hours doing some housekeeping. So just did the laundry that's all out and drying. Hopefully they dry by tomorrow. And then I was editing some videos as well. I also have to start packing, which I'm going to do tomorrow. It's already like, oh, I think it's like 4 a.m. right now. I'm gonna try and wake up early and start packing. And then I have a nail appointment midday. So yeah, there's oh, so much going on. But I'm so happy that my dress is done. Sue did such an amazing job. So if you guys ever need alterations in Sydney, I'll link her website down below and her Instagram. So make sure you guys check her out. So Eric actually went back to Perth two weeks ago and he's dealing with the wedding stuff on his side. I'm dealing with the stuff on my side. So yeah, um, I think everything is all finalized. But it's just crazy that um, it just hit me that my hens is this weekend and then next week's the wedding. So it's all coming up and all my friends are messaging me saying, hey Kim, I'm flying over on this day. So oh, it's nuts. I booked my flights and it was actually all good because originally I was a bit annoyed because I wanted to take, I think, the 7 p.m. flight from Sydney to Perth and it was a direct flight. It was like $1,300 one way. So I was like, what the heck? There was another flight that leaves like at 6.30 p.m. And it gets me to Perth like an hour later. But I have to transfer in Melbourne, which I don't really want to do because it said on Google Flights that usually the flight from Sydney to Melbourne is always late by half an hour. And by the time I get to Melbourne, I only have half an hour to transfer. So if the flight from Sydney is late, I'm screwed by the time I get to Melbourne. So I was like, look, I just want to fly direct. But because I booked my nail appointment like middle of the day, that was the earliest time they had available. Um, I have no choice but to fly later on in the day. So I ended up looking on Qantas and they had a flight free 
from I think I'm flying at 8 p.m. and I land in Perth at 10 p.m. It's actually like a five hour flight but because of the time difference um, it feels a lot shorter I guess but anyways um, it's all done now I initially wanted to book Virgin and that's just because usually I like to stick with one airline alliance if you do that then that's how you rack up points and then that's how you gain status and that's how you can enter lounges for free but for Qantas, I don't really have status with One World, so um, that's why I avoid taking them. But this time around, it was just a lot easier. That's why um, I chose that flight. So anyway, it's all good now, and I'm flying back to Perth. Finally, I get to see my dog. I really miss her. Anyway, guys, I'm going to go off now to try and get a few hours sleep. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.